Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, Jonas. We're the man on the we sticks, are. playing Borderlands we 3. Are. We were just in this section. We, we just, were. We, uh, we, we're peering at your stick. We're looking. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't let me forget about my stick. <laughs> yeah, dude. I will never let you forget about I don't want anybody stick. looking at me, speedy son of a bee. I don't want you thinking you can look at any other man's stick. Nope, no one else's stick yeah, will okay. be peered upon except for TNT Dynamite. Don't get it confused. Imitations will happen, but none are the original. <laughs> Often imitated, never duplicated. Exactly. Buy a ticket for the whole seat, but you'll only need the edge except, stick of TNT Dynamite. Except no substitutes. <laughs> right. Could you stop running? Piece of trash. Give him some butter because he's on a roll. Oh, you can put <laughs> butter on my rolls if you like. <laughs> butter my biscuits. <laughs> I used to think that was a good pickup line to tell girls. What? Girl, butter my biscuits? Girl, out. Butter your roll or I'd. Oh, that seems kind of crude. What are you talking about? This is not the way we're supposed no, to go. No, it's not. But uh, yeah, dude, I don't know if that's a good way to pick up girls. Does that work? <laughs> Jonas, like what, a, what pickup line do you use, Jonas? I don't use pickup lines. I just use my charisma and personality. Uh, so, yeah, what pickup line do you use, Jonas? What? <laughs> I'm just making a, a jab at the fact you have no charisma. Ah! Like, but you do, you do, you do, you do, you do. You well, do. see, okay. like, when you're subpar Whoa. everywhere else, you have to work on your personality. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's very true. Your that's, sense of humor and personality are developed great. So then true. later, if you feel like you're not trash... Then you're like a dangerous person. When you live in a land of subjective penis size. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. Nah, dude. And you know, it's kind of interesting because I feel people that have to build on their personality and the sense of humor and the way they treat thing. people at a younger age. Yeah. Later, when the ugly duckling becomes the swan, they are the people who are unstoppable. Oh. Because they already have the... The, it's, the it's humility. Way, right. It's way harder... To be treated well because of how you appear to people, and then, and then, wait, let me say, it's it's way harder to be treated well because of appearances, and then later have to develop a good personality than to have a good personality and then later be treated well. That's very true. Yeah, yeah. A personality is uh, just as strong a cultivation as physical beauty. And Jonas, that is a good point because I love me a pretty skinny girl who used to be fat. Like that, I'm sorry if that sounds crude, but it's just my truth. <laughs> I love a girl who used to be fat, so that she still has like that fat girl mentality. Mmm, <laughs> a snack cake. <laughs> well, then you get. I mean, like when that goes for fat dudes too. I mean, absolutely. I mean, you just aren't into fat dudes. I get it. I like, mean, you, no, not not into you'd too. be surprised, fam. You would that you're be into surprised. Fat dudes? That I'm in the fat dudes? No, I said I, it goes for fat dudes too. You're just not into fat dudes like you oh. are. In the oh, fat. I thought you said they're not in the fat dudes. No, 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 okay. no. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. You're right. I'm not in the fat dudes. Yeah, I got you. But it's the same scenario. Like you build, you build up what you have to yeah. based on not saying it's right. I'm not in the skinny dudes either. I just yeah. want to put that out. But there. yeah, it's like well, then you get the best of both worlds, man. Because you get someone who like has is, is like a, a decent human being. Exactly. And then you're like, damn. And let's just get it off the table. I'm not in the dudes at all. Okay? Yeah, you're not, wanna, okay, let's, <laughs> let's make sure he feels comfortable with how we're portraying. Uh, yeah, I feel like I'm leaving something <laughs> open here, but not specificating. Yeah, dude, it's a uh, yeah, it's an interesting uh, get him, girl. Dynamic. I would like to do like a like a like a research on that. <laughs> what on dudes? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's on dude, just on dudes in general. No, like the uh, like the differences mm -hmm. between people that grew up attractive. Oh, and, versus personality and like like uh, personality traits of people who grew up attractive and got uh, uh, versus people personality traits of people who grew up like conventionally unattractive and then later developed attractiveness as they got older. I don't know if you're gonna get me in your uh, laboratory, basically telling me you're in the unattractive category. 
No, but like there's pe people know, dude. Like people are like, yeah, hey, I got, I mean, I, I felt like when I, I felt like I was unattractive when I was younger and now I'm older and I feel like I'm attractive. It, it's all subjective anyway, dude. Yeah. At one person's uh, prince is another person's popper. I always think about like, uh, now it's kind of on the same subject, but I always think about like the commercials. I was watching a commercial and they were like, uh, what's this? Uh, you have herpes, and it's just like some guy, and he's like playing fetch with a dog or something. Okay. And I'm like, would I take that job to be known forever as like the herpes guy? Oh, like from the commercial. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, you're trying to work, but. Yeah, it's like you gotta you gotta start somewhere, but. But you, but you know what? Tell me what the girl from the Valtrax ad looks like. Well, she's she's cute, I guess. I but know. yeah, if, would you know her if you saw her out in public? I mean, no, but so there's always matter. a chance. There's your point. Like, I'm just saying is that there's a chance that somebody's going to approach me. Hey, look, man, do you really got herpes? Like, get, Yeah, but maybe stop. they do, and that's why they don't care. If they have herpes? No. They got no. cares, dude. No, 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 no. But maybe that's why they took the ad, because they do have herpes, and they don't care because they have They don't care to be in the ad because they have herpes. Oh. So there's no stigma because it's true. No, but then you're just basically telling the entire world you have herpes. But I mean, like my mom is gonna watch that commercial. You think but, she's gonna be proud that her son is up there telling? Yeah, them but it's it, it's 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 is, truth is, regardless. Is, is it better to tell your mom that you don't have herpes? Oh, I want to see what's on the other side of this bridge, Jonas. I'm sorry, it's calling me, dude. It started moving, but you're you're fighting, so I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Yeah, dude, there's some big boys over here. But I no, dude, you, I mean man. it's like I mean whether you want to be known or not, if it's truth, it's truth. Yeah, but uh, look, my fudger, all I'm saying is that. If I do have herpes, I don't want everybody knowing I have herpes. Well, right. But, even if I have herpes. But some people don't care and would tell everyone. So <laughs> that's that's why they are in the So commercial. you're saying every person in the, in the commercial has herpes? No, I'm just saying that maybe. You're case. saying that's a maybe. A okay, so say the maybe possibility is, is that they don't. Then they just don't care. To, they, they know they don't have herpes and they're I'm comfortable not, enough I'm not to not give it with that, man. I don't know. Dude, you, you were not asking you to be in a herpes commercial, dude. So I know, it's, but it's I'm not. But even that, okay, even beyond that, my because we lost we lost track of the point. Of yeah, you're like this is kind point, of related. And it's not related at all. The point is more of like uh like the woman who's like, uh, I have chronic fatness and I take this medication to not be fat. And then like you're that guy. Do you want to be known as the fat woman in the commercial? Then no, because if if you if, if you're comfortable with that, then do it, dude. I don't get where you're going with this. I said <laughs> people who used to be unattractive and now are attractive, and you're talking about herpes ads. No. I don't see the correlation no, no, in no. any no. way, shape, or form. It absolutely came from that. It yeah, did. I, well, I there was where a segue. it came from. There I was just a don't, segue. I just don't understand the relation. I was just saying, like, I don't I don't understand why the guy who has herpes or the woman who's like the before picture in the uh in the commercial, how how they would feel about that? Okay, well let me ask you this: You say you like girls who who used to be big and now are small. Why? Mm. Mm. You you said that because they have fat girl mentality. But, mm. but explain. Wow, explain to people what you mean by that because it sounds very chauvinistic and awful. It sounds chauvinistic and awful. I love girls with fat girl mentality. Does not sound <laughs> like it's a nice thing. So please okay. explain. Okay, 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 okay. I got see you. Where I, I'm I see. From? Uh, kind of, kind of. <laughs> like I still don't really feel like I I'm, know you, so I know what you mean, yeah, but don't, they don't. Okay, so I don't feel like I'm wrong, and you know it's a hot take. Fine. <laughs> I understand that, you know, I might come across brash. All I'm saying is that, essentially, that girls who get things because of them just looking pretty and they get the attention all the time, they become complacent to that attention and the benefits of being such. Girls who do not have that, or I shouldn't just say girls, I should say individuals who do not have that at their employ, the physical attractiveness so readily available, have to make use of other ways to navigate life and usually that has to do with charisma um and just being like uh i don't want to say a decent person because it's not to say that beautiful people can't be decent either but See, like, I'm just they, they develop a bunch better of personalities sense of humor it, it is it is a, a stronger chance of that happening right yes. because they have to have something else that 
that people yeah. are drawn to. Yeah, and I'm not saying it's like even that everything. Yeah, I'm usually the the PC guy too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know. That's why I'm letting you go down this rabbit hole, buddy. You said oh, that's stage I didn't even say anything that bad. It was, you you like, I just want you to explain. <laughs> but. Yeah, okay. So those are not the only aspects that govern whether a person is going to be nice or not. I, I don't know where to go. Oh, we don't we have to go straight ahead, bro? It, it won't let us, dude. Oh, I'm a dumb butt, dude. Just shoot it, dude. Just shoot it. Okay. I yeah, but... <laughs> and yes, but here, but here's where uh, my point was in. What's your if point you are the in? person that is subjectively, say, unattractive or you're whatever, you have to develop those traits. Right, so then you already have a great personality. You have charisma. Yeah. You have a good sense of humor. You've, you've become intelligent because you've focused on your education and knowledge and whatever. Then all of a sudden you get your stuff together or you become attractive by whatever means. You are a dangerous person at that point. <laughs> and I don't mean that in necessarily a negative you've way on, you've been on this kick too man i like it i like it though I like but it. it doesn't mean that you're, you're it's, it's necessarily a negative way because if if you're able to attract people based on your personality and you're not so-called physically attractive then you all then you have that physical attractiveness to you and people are drawn to you <laughs> by that first in your whole life you've been trying to get people to get attracted to you by your other means yeah it's yeah. like it's like it's the best of both worlds for you and then you like can it's weird dude <laughs> okay let's say it's kind of like uh it's like instead of like teaching a baby to talk and read you taught it to exercise first and then later in life you tried to teach it to read it's never going to be as smart as the people who learn how to read first. Right. It, it, wow, that, that is a wonderful analogy, dude. Like, abso-freaking-lutely. Like, who's going to be more dangerous? The guy who got fit first and then later tried to speak? Or the guy who learned to speak and then later got fit? <laughs> Wow, <laughs> write that down, hey, friends. Hey, look, and, and when you say that again in public, I'm going to need you to definitely issue a disclaimer for that because I already know you're going to say that when it gets. Who, me? Yeah, you. I will steal that. I know you're, you're going to steal it. Should I give a, should I give a, like a. I just need you to say that Ramon always says. Put <laughs> 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 a Ramon, Ramon <laughs> quote. <dude. laughs> I'm never gonna repeat that again, but I'm gonna keep it in my, I'm gonna keep it in my brain, friend. Woo. All right, I ran like a, I ran like. Oh, a, you let me die? Uh, yeah, dude, because we got other things to do. All right, cool. No, but it's it's just I don't know, man. It's and like I would love to do like to a, there. a a research study on that just to see. Oh well, it's definitely a thing, my man. Yeah, dude, it's it definitely is definitely a thing. So, I mean. Granted, the the baby that learns how to walk is gonna have some advantages too, but you can only get so far with walking, talk or um, exercise. Yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. You For can sure. only go so far. Yeah, 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 man. It's it's uh. I think I want to grab a car actually. Interesting, man. Just an interest. I don't know, man. Life is interesting, dude. Like. Life is interesting. Dude, it really is, man. I can't tell you like how how. How much eye-opening things have, can happen to you in a short amount of time that you're just like, life, man, life. I have this feeling that you're, you're speaking purely from personal experience, and then that's a good thing, man. I'm glad But it's not only because of the things you think kind, I'm it, talking about. It kind of is. No, not o no, 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 no. It's not only that, dude. Come on. I, I'm not a one-trick pony. Uh, I mean... I'm not a one-trick pony, dude. Don't you're even becoming a pretty, pile. You've been practicing this trick for a while now. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I have other tricks I'm practicing, I haven't seen you pull any new tricks out in a while. Dude, I have other tricks I'm practicing, too, man. Don't you... <laughs> Wow, dude, you're putting me in a box. Now. Oh, I'm putting you now, in a box. Now. I'm just saying, all I've been seeing lately is the one trick, man. I forgot. I know you have more tricks. I'm just not seeing a lot of tricks. I'm developing another. I'm developing <laughs> tricks, dude. I got. I like the trick I'm developing. <laughs> nah, dude, improv class is another trick. 
Okay, yeah, that's that's a trick. Those are like the two main tricks, Those and, main and they're very similar. And oddly enough, they're very similar. Are they? You know, we oh, talked we talked about similarities. Oh, Jonesy, we're gonna start speaking in cold. You but I know I'm that. done speaking about it. Period. I'm just the, the final statement is they're similar. <laughs> period. Here's the final statement. Yeah. So, but no, nah, dude, I'm a, I'm not a one trick pony. Don't don't pony me into the one trick boy club, dude. I'm not. No. <laughs> don't you? Yeah, no. No, don't let him get it. If he gets it, he gets superpowers. Oh, I love the superpower, boy. And I get a level. You got a level that makes you a super. Who is here? Okay. This man. Who is no, now man. Not it's a been, man. Uh, just a. Uh... I mean, but was what I'm saying making sense, though, dude? I feel like <laughs> it's not about like the one-trick pony. I thought about... we were done. <laughs> no, I'm done with that comparison. But the whole like, you know, the walk before you speak thing. Uh, like that, it makes sense. It's like, I don't know. I mean, if you've ever, able, if you're ever able to walk both sides of the coin, it makes. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've been there a little bit, man. Yeah, dude. So it's like. I, was, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not ugly. I've always been yeah. attractive, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just saying. I'm just saying, like, yeah, like I've definitely had less self-esteem, and then going from an area of having more. And the uh, you know the, the book learn learning smarts. I don't know. It kind of helps when you can see both sides, because ugly people they like lose their or ugly people, more less attractive people they focus on other things, and uh, attractive people focus on other things. Skinny people focus on other things than than people oh, yeah. who suffer from weight illnesses do. Right, 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 right. So if you can see the gambit on all sides of like yeah. being like, I used to be fat, now I'm, now I'm not, or I used to be stupid and now I'm smart, or I Which used to have a bad personality and now like people enjoy my company, and you know both all of those sides, like it's it only helps you in the social situation. Which is a, a thing because associated with being uh, more physically fit is the idea of feeling better. Yeah, I can I can vouch for that a hundred percent. But then we try to like push body positivity on people when everybody just, I don't even think, it's more objectively than su suggestively feel better just being not huge. Yeah. And I mean, I've been on both sides of the fence, man. I can, I mean, and I still have ways to go, but like, it's, yeah, it makes a huge difference. Unless you're like one of those like dudes who likes to like feed girls over the internet. <laughs> I'm not like making fun of them or anything, but you know, that is a thing. It is. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. I, mean, I, I guess it's cool. Hey, man, each their own, I guess. Yeah, if you want to feed girls, that's cool. Yeah, dude. So, but yeah, man, it's it's, it's, it's an interesting dynamic of the human psyche. Just go to the park and put some breadcrumbs in your hand and just feed the <clears> girls. <throat> It, but you know, but you know, it's interesting. Oh, I got a purple in a chest, bro! But it's only level twenty-nine. Why? Um, but I think it's harder for the people who were who who peaked early to decline late than people who peak late. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I kind of feel like, honestly, the uh, it's almost like a crutch to be uh, physically attractive. Ever or early? Uh, uh, early. I feel like it's a crutch. Okay. Because if you give somebody a, a license, <laughs> if you give a child a license, man, they're just going to get into accidents. But as an adult, we, we kind of know how to deal with it a little differently. I guess that's kind of a bad way to say it. But, I mean, like, if you give a person the ability to control situations, they will use it for bad. Oh, you got it. Sweet. Yeah, it's over there. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like... So it becomes a crutch. It becomes a weakness in the long run. It's, it becomes a social weakness. Absolutely. Yeah. Because if you can get things without trying later when you have to try, mm -hmm. it's a thousand times harder. But it's only to people who think that your physical attractiveness is a benefit and not your personality type. You ready? Right. And those are the type of people I want to be around anyways. I think we got a boss jump. It's definitely a boss jump. Yeah, Let dude, so it's, uh, way. it's interesting. You don't have a, uh... Shotgun? Shotgun. Uh, I don't know, but right now I'm using my mech, so after that I will see what I got. Shotgun. 
I don't think I do have a shotgun, to be honest. Take it easy. Da, 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 I mean, we almost got a shield half down anyway. Da, da, da. Shotgun. Shotgun. Da, 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 da. My phone was ringing, Jonas, and I did everything in my power not to grab it. So this is the other Tron man. This the is other Trump man? The other Tron man. His name is General Tron. You don't know, see it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, it's just it. like the other General Tron that we fought on... Uh, Ava's powers. planet, Ava Maya zone. Oh, sir. That's the end of your shields. How's oh, that now feel? he's going to pay with his life. because. Oh, like, now he's the damage is coming out now. Yeah, huh? dude, he's really getting wrecked by my... He's going to kill me. He's going to kill me. Hey, General Trant, why don't you die? He's like, but I... Trump Level go. 36! Oh, a fountain of... Oh, you got things. I don't want this. <laughs> you ain't get anything. Yeah, you got you green know. boys. Oh. <laughs> What's that guy doing? You got knocked the fudge out. We got a universe to save. There's still a man over here. Is there boys? There's still one man. He's over here fighting. Man, we've had a really philosophical day today. I know, dude. I told you we were in dad mode all day. It's yeah, dude, enough. I dig it, though. <laughs> you dig dad mode? Dude, that's where my, where my mind is lately. <laughs> dad I, mode. I, I see that. <laughs> it's cool, man. I'm glad you're getting there. Introspection, my friend. Yes. I've been on a five-year journey of self-introspection. Mine has been for about four and a half months. <laughs> and I've already learned so much that I can't... Oh, God! I don't know where I'll be in... Did you jump down? Five, I almost did by accident. I mean, we might as well. I well, kind of want to see we what's We got to go up here to get to where we need to go. Uh, we don't have enough time. Oh! I get what you're talking about. What's going on here? What's this? Yeah, dude. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, dude, I, I it's you, a, you get you get deep, man, but dude, and uh, this just takes us around to the beginning. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> look at this. That's my marquee. Sweet man. But uh, at least we got that clap trap over there. Heck yeah. All right. Well, you know what, Jonas? We're gonna jump back down here, and then we're gonna go to the next episode because uh, we're going in here next. Oh. Trot zone. Oh, da, 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 da. That is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you've already done all that, just tell us that you love us. But for Jonas and TNT Dynamite, we are. Rip. Out.